Hey everyone, welcome to the Solid Tutorials YouTube channel. In today's video, we're diving into a complete step-by-step -step guide for editing with Wondershare Filmora 14. Whether you're a beginner or more advanced, this full course covers everything you need to know from A to Z. We'll go over all the features and tools for professional video editing, and I'll share some advanced tips, tricks, and techniques to help you get the most out of Filmora 14. We've really gone deep in this tutorial, you won't believe how detailed we've gotten. From AI-powered tools to all the other editing features, we'll walk you through everything in a simple, easy-to-follow way. This course is broken down into 20 chapters, so you'll get a comprehensive understanding of the software. Let's jump into Chapter 6 next. In this chapter, we'll explore how to edit and enhance audio in Filmora 14, from voice effects to speed adjustments and track management. I've also included the timestamps for each section in the description below. Let's get started. So for this, I have a video on the timeline that also has audio. With it selected, I go to the audio panel, and here I click on the voice changer section. Voice filters in Filmora 14 apply preset audio effects to your voice recordings, instantly changing their sound. Learn how to refine your audio tracks, remove unwanted noise, and add professional-grade music and sound effects. Filmora's intuitive interface makes audio editing easy and accessible. For example, I try some of these voice filters, and I adjust the given sliders by increasing and decreasing them. Great music and sound effects. Filmora's intuitive interface makes audio editing easy. Learn how to refine your audio tracks. Remove unwanted. Learn how to refine your audio tracks. After trying a few voice filters, now I click on the voice characters section, and from here I try some voice characters. Learn how to refine your audio tracks. Remove unwanted noise. Voice characters are ready-made voice effects to make you sound like a chimpmunk, male minion, or other characters. Learn how to refine your audio. Learn how to refine. Learn how to refine your audio. Learn how to refine your audio tracks. Remove unwanted noise. Learn how to refine your audio tracks. Remove unwanted noise and add. After that, let's apply speed now. Learn so for that, go to the speed panel. And here you can adjust the speed by increasing and decreasing the speed slider. Remove unwanted noise and add But I want to apply speed to this music. So for that, I select the music below. So now I apply speed to the music below. This audio speed works the same as the video speed. Remove unwanted noise and add And disable the video above. If you want to maintain the pitch of the voice during audio speed. So for that, turn on the toggle of maintain pitch. After that, let's now try speed ramping effects on this audio. Click on the speed ramping section. Single click on any speed ramping effect, and it will be applied to your audio. You can edit any speed ramping effect by dragging the graph to create new speed ramping effects. These speed ramping effects also work the same as video speed ramping. So let's stretch the audio. So for this, I select the audio stretch tool, and through it, for example, I grab this music by its end edge, and drag it like this. You can stretch the length of any audio more or less through audio stretch. To detach the audio from any video, right-click on that video on the timeline and then click on the Detach Audio option. Alternatively, you can also press the shortcut CTRL plus Alt plus D from the keyboard, so the audio will be detached from your video. Some people also know this feature as Audio Extract. To hide any track, click on the eye icon next to it, then that track will be hidden. To show the track again, click on the same eye icon again, then the track will be shown again. To lock any track, you can click on the lock icon next to it. Now this track is locked, and we cannot edit it, we cannot even select it. And in the same way we can lock video and audio tracks. To lock and unlock all tracks in one click, 
click on the plus sign at the top left of the timeline. And from here click on the lock all tracks option. And by checking lock all tracks, all tracks are locked together. You can move the position of any track up or down. To do this, simply grab the track and drag it up or down. To rename any track, double click on the track namespace with a break. Click on the rename space and press the F2 button shortcut on your keyboard and enter the track name. And the same way to rename all audio and video tracks. To add an empty video track, click on the same plus sign and then click on add video tracks. Then you will have an empty video track added to the timeline. And from the same options, click on the add audio track button. Then you will have an empty audio track. To delete empty tracks go to the same options. And from here click on delete empty tracks. And the empty audio and video tracks on your timeline will be deleted. Magnetic timeline automatically sticks clips together so you don't have gaps. Turn it on for easy editing, off for precise placement. Link keeps audio and video together when moving clips. Timeline snaps help align clips perfectly to the timeline markers or other clips. Enable them for precise cuts and placement. And disable them for freeform editing without snapping constraints. In the same add button options, you can adjust track height. Adjusting track height lets you see more or less detail of your clips, small for an overview. And big for detailed waveform or thumbnail viewing. Normal for standard editing. You can also adjust the height of your tracks this way. You can grab any track by its top or bottom edge and drag. Click the Add button again, and then click the Open Track Manager option. The Track Manager in Filmora 14 lets you organize your video and audio tracks. From here you can add as many video tracks as you want. Then select the placement. For example, I choose Above Track 1. Edit the audio tracks in the same way. Then select the placements of the tracks. And then click the OK button. So we added tracks to the timeline according to the number of tracks in placement using the Track Manager tool. This was just an example, but I would like to delete it again using Delete Empty Tracks. That wraps up this chapter on audio editing in Filmora 14. Keep experimenting with these tools to create the perfect sound for your videos. I'll see you in the next chapter.